Greetings in my fall 2013 TIE 300 course. This is Dr. Bo coming to you, talking to you a little bit about your assignment, which is due for week four, uh, September 30th. Uh, this is how to use the Smart Lesson Exchange. <clears throat> now, the Smart Lesson Exchange is a great place to find activities for your smart board if you have a smart board. Uh, generally, uh, they're growing in numbers, and I think it's something that you need to be aware of. And also, you don't have to have expensive equipment in order to find lessons that have already been created by other teachers. So the first thing I want you to do is go ahead and go to exchange.smarttech.com. When you go to exchange.smarttech.com, you will have to create your own account and sign in. So that's the very first thing you need to do because they won't let you do all this searching until you actually have your own free account. So go ahead and include all that information. And when you get logged in, you can see I'm logged in right now, you can go ahead and search for a particular area that pertains to the area you want to uh, teach in. So maybe it's early childhood, maybe it's special education, uh, whatever. And here is a topic I'm typing in maps. And let's see what they have for areas here. I can put in geography if I want to, or I can narrow it down to a certain grade level. So let's go take a look at what the would be appropriate for fifth grade uh, maps. And I'm just going to go ahead and click on Go. Now what I want you to do is find two appropriate lessons that you can uh, show to me on Monday and actually show one of these to the class. When you go ahead and log in to the uh, Smart Lesson Exchange, one of the first things you want to do is you want to find the Smart Notebook Lessons. Now for the fifth grade math or maps, there are 522 choices for me to take a look at. So I'm going to go ahead and narrow those down. I don't want to use any of these other ones that are here. I just want to focus for the time being on Smart Notebook Lessons. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And that's going to just show me the 500 that are there. Now I don't want you to go through all 500. I want you to pick ones that you think are fun to show and maybe ones you'd consider using in your own classroom. And on Monday you're actually going to show one of these. And I'll show you how to download it so that it actually fully functions on the equipment that we'll have in class. But for you, when you're at home, you're going to open up these in the Smart Notebook Express. And that allows you to see it from your very own home and not have to spend $2,000 on the equipment. So the first thing I might do is go ahead and click on Smart Notebook Express and I'll be able to see it. One other thing to keep an eye on is this uh, size. Remember, we've talked about how big megabytes are. This one is really small. It's only 0.23 megabytes. Now, that doesn't mean it's a bad file, it just means there isn't a whole lot to it. Now this one's a lot bigger, it's a whole 8.13 megabytes, and there may be more to do in there, and it may be very well designed. You can also see that it's authored by Catherine Kelly. Well, I don't know who Catherine Kelly is, but it doesn't sound like a professional vendor, and that's fine with me. Often professional vendors will put things in here with the idea that they want you to pay for the uh, whole file itself. So here's a wide variety of ones to choose from. I'm just going to open up this one because it looks kind of fun and open up Smart Notebook Express. I don't have anything special on my computer to be able to open this up, but let me show you just a couple of things that you can do to look through and see if you like this one. I'm going to go ahead and click here. Maps can provide many different types of information such as and I don't see if there's anything for me to click on here. Oh, let's see what that does. No. Ah, maps can also help you plan a trip, locate interests. So this would be a place where you could write in a bunch of ideas from your students. That's what this person has designed this for. So here are some ideas as to what they might have put in there. Okay, let's go on and take a look at the next one. Enduring Understandings. Let's take a look and see. You sometimes have to move these things out of the way to see what the uh, author intended. Map is a 
two-dimensional image of a three-dimensional surface. Different types of maps show various physical and political information. So it sounds like this portion of what this person designed is just to give some overview of what maps are all about. And as we keep going through this, you can see that there are more and more explanations. Here's the cardinal directions that's often taught even as early as uh, second grade. We look at some of these. Uh, because the Earth is a sphere, it is 360 degrees around. And because it's approximately a lot more information that's here. Some of these are very interactive. And so you could actually say, well, you know, I like this one because it does actually show some of these things, but it sure doesn't uh, give me a whole lot to work with. So I'm going to go ahead and say, well, for, you know, I, it's not that I don't like this one. I'm, what I am going to do is go back here and say, okay, world maps by V. Cheshire. All right, so world maps by V. Cheshire. I'm now going to go back to my Google uh, website and I'm going to add that so that on Monday I know which one I want to choose and show off. First thing I'm going to do is go ahead right here and add a new page. And the name of the new page is going to be my two smart uh, board activities. And I want to put this at the top level of the page. So you're going to do the same thing and click Create. And now I'm going to edit this page. Actually, it just went right to edit for me. And I'm going to call this, uh, what was that called? I'm going to click back here, World Maps by V. Cheshire. So maybe there's other people that have wrote, written one called World Maps. So I'm going to call this World Maps by V. Cheshire. Okay, and that's going to be my first one that I would show off to. And now you're going to go back and continue to look through these. Now be sure to choose ones that actually have some fun stuff to show off to everybody because smart boards are pretty spectacular devices. And even though you don't have one in your home, it does mean that you can actually go ahead, press edit to get started. I'm not quite sure what this one is all about, but again, these are things that are created by other educators and you have to kind of decide whether or not it works for you. More importantly is you're getting exposed to what can be done with this. And here we go. Um, with putting in uh, some more information that's here. Here's a link to uh, another website. Often that little globe is a link to another website. And I don't know quite what this one's designed to do. But again, scroll through and try out different things. In this one, uh, you actually say, what is a map that focuses on specific ideas such as climate, uh, it might be a physical map and shows features that uh, humans have created on Earth's surface, maybe a political map, and helps you see the landforms and bodies of water, maybe a thematic. Well, it may be that this actually belongs here and this belongs here. So you have to move these things around and when we check, ah, look, it actually, I've, this is the first time I've looked at this, and I wanted to make sure I had it all in the right place. I just click on check, and now I can go on to the next one. Do we have homework? You know, I kind of like this one. So I'm going to go back, and I'm going to say, all right, it was this one called Map Basics by P. Usselding. So again, I'm going to go back here to this and call it Map Basics by P. Solding, And there I have those that are ready to go and I save those. So as you see this showcase of all of your work is starting to accumulate different things on there for you to fall back on later in your program. Okay, I hope this helps you. Bye-bye.